more four more tunnels. Three tunnels and then a bite up, I think. We'll give you a head start. Oh, look at that, it's got him a bear. Look at them, they're all going the wrong way. Ruined by slips, so they'll shut it down. You're not on your big bike. To make my life a bit easier. The team, everyone happy with their food? Is John O'Donnell right? Beautiful, mate. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's not assessed on the food. Um, the rallies, you know, that we do, we bring a lot of camaraderie and really good banter and good, you know, stuff all between each other and it's just, it's just awesome to see and it's, 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 it's been, as I said, so we, we put a lot of work into it to, to make it really, really special, try and keep you off road as much as we can and um, this, is a, this is a start of something going to be very special, we'll run every year. If you see a farmer stop, say thanks, um, you know, make sure when you open closed gates, don't steer stock, horses, and I'll keep you up right here so we're not too worried about that you know, today. <laughs> Day one of the Bay Motorcycles East Cape Escape Rally is about to begin. So let's the go. The riders haven't made it too far. Looks like you guys haven't made it very far this morning. <laughs> How good is this, Charlie? <laughs> straight by Wild Bee? Yeah, straight into Wild Bee. <laughs> Pies and coffee. Yeah, it's exactly what we yeah. want today, one. We've got the fuel add on. Five litres spare. What are the, what's the secret to keeping it on there? High quality bailage tape. <laughs> No, he's got a bladder coming I tonight. Green, so go black. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, it'd be a little bit ugly in green. Today is day one of the rally, and we'll be making our way from Hastings all the way up the coast, but through farmland as soon as we get out of Napier. Then we'll drop into the farmland and we'll make our way up to Gisborne, weaving our way across the top of the hill country, down on some beach, then back into the hills, just having a ball of a time. So if that sounds like a bit of you, stay tuned, grab a drink, get yourself a nice comfy seat and let's go! Day one, first stop. <laughs> Hayden here. <laughs> Looking pretty flash. Day one. First hill. First hill. Great stuff. First hill. 
Yep. Riding up there like a just, manna. Just to yeah. eat some water. Year, putting along. Yeah. Yeah. Just a taste tip to it. Yeah. There's no rain yet, so we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's got to be some rain. Can't make it too easy. Good view out the back, though. You didn't bring a raincoat. No, no. <laughs> exactly. It's great country. Bottom. I can see the grey popper in it. Absolutely stunning views out ahead of us. Straight ahead is the Mohaka River, which is right out in the distance. But yeah, the um, Hawke's Bay walkway is actually just down to our right. So yeah, if you get a chance to do that. I told him to be careful, and the fucking first thing he does, he runs her into the mud. Anything broken? No, I feel alright. You all good? Fuck, that's a fucking long way to come down, man. Winded? Yeah. It's a decent drop. It's a good drop. Fuck. Nah, no sore hip. No, I think I'm right. He was coming down the track, he's hit a rock, his bike's deflected and hit the side of the bank and thrown him off here. And we later found out that he'd broken down a Down here. Yeah, up there. Oh, number 17. Or 16. A for effort. Is my bike still out there? Yeah, your yeah, bike's right still way. good. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> hell. Oh. It jumped out of you. In front of you. <laughs> it jumped out of you. Push it up. I'll just head to put it over my front tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, so what was it? Moe Angie. Moe Angie's big public trust. Yep.
So if you remember back before Rupert's crash off the cliff, lucky to get away with that one, could have been worse, but we were looking straight ahead down at the Mohaka River. Well, we're here, the Mohaka River. And guess what? We're about to go down the Mohaka Beach. Mate, how good! This beach could tell stories. There's a few of the boys got fully covered and fully submerged in salt water. Earlier on it had been high tide so when they showed up they were hard going. As you can see some of these tracks have been recovered by salt water and I'd say there'd been a few struggles before we'd got there. Luckily for us the tide was out a little bit and gave us a little bit of leeway. Yeah sorry about that one boys. This sand is super soft, like super soft. If you stop, it is just so hard to get going. And you can hear it in the bikes, they're working so hard. So don't take it for granted and think it was easy just because we're riding fast. We're riding fast so that we're floating on top of the surface. But if you slow down, mate, it is 10 times harder. So for those boys on the bigger bikes, a pat on the back because this was hard yakka. This right here would be the pinch point that I'd say caught a few of the lads out. You could see at high tide how hard and how much of a struggle it would be to get around these little peninsulas. It's safe to say I'm pretty sure we all made it to lunch, but yeah, I think there's a few salty bikes that needed a wash in the river afterwards. But lucky for them, we've got a nice creek crossing and I think it's going to claim a few victims.
you were one of the boys who got down that beach, give yourself a pat on the back. What a deep, sandy struggle. Not bad, Paul Green, Dad. Not bad? It was hard work, eh? Oh, yeah, but it was just with the waves coming in against the cliff and that tide. Yeah. Evil, eh? Makes it feel pretty wild. Oh, fucking cool. Not bad for the first ride on the 890. <laughs> just send it up. Wear that clutch in. It. <laughs> Never ridden it. Yeah. Far out. Is that your first ride on it? Yeah. Fresh. Oh, that's how you run them in. That was my new tyre. From here, we're probably about 20 to 30 minutes from the lunch stop, and I think the boys are getting hungry because they're getting a little toey, and there's a bit of a race going on by the looks. Oh, he's up the inside. No, is he going to get him? No, no, no. Oh, bugger. Oh, he's going outside. Ah, uh, didn't get him. Taking over the town. Day one, first lunch stop. Why do I? Hey, Gimmels on the parade. Hamish, hey, what did you reckon about the beach? Oh, mate, the beach was sure as epic. <laughs> <laughs> Any salt water on your bike? Yeah, I might have to sneak around the workshop somewhere and hose it off. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, and then mud afterwards to stick uh, it on. Yeah, or maybe I just wash it in the river. Yeah, well, that's coming next. Oh, working and riding. <laughs> Matt got hit by a wave. Go on. Feet are out, boots are wet. First morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much salt water's on the bike? I think it's covered in dust now. So yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's, right. it's baking on there. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right. Bernard, any casualties? Oh, no, no casualties here. No. A few broken boards, but they're under control on their way. Yeah, yeah, making it here. Yeah, that's the story. Blake? No, no, we'll make it a few fizzies. A few fizzies? A few pandas? Yeah. Oh, you got a beer there? Bloody hell. Dangerous man. It's such epic riding and great footage, I'm going to have to make an episode 2 for day 1. We just can't fit it all in. So stay tuned, we've got bikes in the water, we've got drone footage, we've got hill climbs, we've got creek crossings, mate, we've got train tunnels, you wait, we've got it all in this video. So, episode 2, coming right up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Flounder Productions, like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. That helps the algorithm bring it to you next time. Cheers, guys. Thanks again. John North's property, very kindly to use it. Yeah, cheers, John.